Now the way that most people learn to do split grip handsprings is that they learn to hold the pole and they start kicking away. Kick, 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 kicking for dear life until whoa! Okay y'all, I wanna talk about butterfly and handspring. How they relate to one another and how the way that most people learn to do butterfly and continue to perform butterfly doesn't actually prepare them for the handspring. Is that they go from an outside hook, they move a hand down, and what you get is a position where the body is like really close to the pole. The next thing that people tend to try to learn from that is the extended butterfly, where they want to go to the ankle. Um, something like this, really, really close. <laughs> is like flush against the pole and I try to take my legs off, it's not gonna happen. I don't have strength because there's no angle of support in the push pull. Way too close to the pole. Here's how I suggest performing the butterfly if you're interested in learning to progress safely to split grip handsprings. Not by wildly kicking up, but by learning how to stick it from the top down. That is smart progression there, okay? It's also gonna give you access to more space. And with space comes options, opportunities, and also what we call negative space, where you're able to see and appreciate the lines more than when you're smashed against the pole. So here is the approach. Whether you're going like this, or like this. You want your ankle to land on the pole right above your hand. Don't do a knee hook. The outside knee hook is not gonna help us, okay? Now, if you're used to doing the other version, it's really tempting to slide your leg up and come fully inverted. Uh -uh. I want you to hang out right here in what feels like you didn't quite make it. That's where, when you put the bottom hand down and come out, you'll see you have the option for space, Let's look at just the line of the extended butterfly. This is traditional approach. Ha, ha, let me get you the profile you deserve. <laughs> Wait, can't give it to you. Because <laughs> I can't control it, because my hips are open and I'm like, where am I going? If I turn my hips to the pole and I thrust and I squeeze. Da, da, da. Oh, so I'm actually turning my hips up and forwards and you can see that my arms are positioned in a way that I have a lot more strength than when there's something like the. Usually the most difficult thing for people who are new to it is pulling with the top arm. They're so used to hanging off of it and being really close that they have difficulty bringing that top arm into business. Tip of your elbow, you will start to work on pointing it up towards the ceiling and getting your head to point down towards the about Keep your foot really close to your hand. You're able to start to learn how to pull with the top arm. Spring. You're looking for enough distance that you create this angle. The top arm should be bent. And when you need to come down, though it would be amazing to come out through some kind of iron X, look down and you try to reach one foot to the floor so that you practice keeping your hips high while lowering one leg down. We come down fast when our heaviest parts are moving down faster than we can control them. So if you're, when you're in, you are handspring and you come out wide and you don't have any control, you're gonna be heavy. But if, while you're in your handspring, you keep your hips up high and practice getting one leg down to the floor, that is a way to train landing safely before you necessarily have the strength to come all the way out like this. Getting to a handspring is a big deal for a lot of people. It's usually more of a big deal than the butterfly. But if we were doing the butterfly in a way that prepared us better for the handspring, then we might be able to get there sooner and safer. If you are doing the butterfly but not yet doing something that uses the exact same contact points, then check in with how you're doing it. Let me know if this was helpful and I'll see you next time.